how to filter and search submissions in an online form. I'm going to show you how on this video. So follow me to my desktop right now. Welcome to Jock Form. My name is George and today I'm going to show you how to search and filter form submissions. For this, we are going to use Jock Form tables. That way we can filter our submissions. Plus we can also create search tabs once we are ready. So let me show you how. Let's start off by opening Jock Form tables from one of our tables that we have available. In this case, we have five submissions. So we're going to go and click on more submissions and this is going to open job form tables. This way we have a display of all the submissions that we have available. Now filters are fantastic when you have a huge amount of submissions, but again, it's still helpful because you can search really easily for certain columns. So let me show you how this works. If we want to search through any of these submissions for a specific name, email, or any of the columns that we have, we can use our search bar on the top left. So in this case, if we want to search for example, Let's choose um, Jorge, let's go ahead and find him. In case we have a lot of submissions, we're just gonna type in his name and we are going to automatically filter it. And here's a submission from this person, full name. And this is where it's driving the search bar, okay? Now, another type of searching is by going into this little filter. Filter is really powerful, so let's go ahead and start with it. So we can start searching in all submissions, unread, read, favorite or unfavorite, we can search for a specific date and time. By default, it's set to all time. So it's gonna search for all the submissions based on the next criteria that we're gonna choose. But in this case, if we wanna search for the last seven days, that could be one of the search filters. So for example, here it is. Sorry, let me go ahead and select it again. Last seven days. There we go, so it's searched, okay? So let me go click on apply filter. And in this case, we don't have any submissions from the last seven days. So we're not able to display anything. Let's go ahead and try a filter again. Let's choose, for example, last year, okay? Filter, and here we go. We are viewing all the submissions. Okay, let's try another filter. In this case, we are gonna do an advanced search. So we are going to search in a specific column. So in this case, for example, if I want to search for a specific column, this is a form that I previously used for a restaurant reservation. So what happens if I want to search for reservations over three people, right? So we're gonna go for the number of guests. So that's where we wanna search in that specific column. And we wanna search for three, okay? Let me apply the filter. And I'm only going to view people who made a reservation with three people, okay? I can make this more customizable by adding more to this filter. So what if I also want to display four, five, six, seven, so on and so forth. I'm going to apply the filter. And in this case, we don't have any more um, submissions with more guests, but we're able to view them with that filter. Now, I'm going to show you something really cool with this because I'm going to create a tab with this filter. That's way, that way we don't have to every single time search for that specific filter or enter those amounts again. So you can see we have displayed this little light blue bar on the top, which is filter results. Two out of five entries met the filter conditions. So anytime that the condition is met, I'm going to view it. And I can go ahead and create a new tab or remove the filter. For this case, we are going to create a new tab. And I'm gonna call this tab guest over three. Okay, create the tab. Here we go, and automatically I have a tab with this filter. So I'm gonna go back again to my main um, submissions table. Let me go ahead and remove the filter. Let's get rid of the filter also. Now we're viewing all the submissions, but if I go to this tab, guest over three, I always have that ready. So if there's a new submission coming in for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, guess that I have set for the filter, it's gonna display here. That way, and in this case, I know that it's someone that it's not a couple or less. It's a family of three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe I want to send out a promotion or maybe I want to do with that, that information that I have. So that way you can use that. For filters, there's also, for example, you can choose the columns. You can choose different type of columns, for example, amount of guest plus another type of field, for example, for, I don't know, mm, reservation type. So for example, it has to be three guests 
and the reser reservation type has to be one of these. So for example, the VIP mezzanine, all right? So apply filter, and now it's only going to search one. So maybe I want to create another type of filter that's a bit more complex, and I'm able to do it with that type of filter. But there you go. That is how you use the search and filter on JotForm tables. We thank you all for watching, and we'll see you on our next tutorials.